Tools of the trade, it's back again. Look at here, same sign. Ha <laughs> I didn't erase it. All right, guys, welcome back to my golf shop, Jim McCleary. And now, you know, last week we talked about measuring the flex. This week, we are going to talk about how we actually measure length. Now, last year I did a couple of videos on measuring length, or at least talking about what length is. So you want to measure length of your golf club, and how would you do that, right? We talk about length uh, and the way that it gets measured, and there's, again, multiple ways of doing it. The USGA prescribes a particular way of doing it. However, even in that, they their club makers have decided there's a better way. And what and the way we do it is in the playing position. And the playing position means that the club will be sold in the middle of the sole is on the ground, and that would be the proper playing position. And that measures quite a bit of stuff. All right, that, me that measures a lot of and that you can measure a lot of things. You measure lie angle, you can measure uh, your loft angle as long as it's you're not tilting it, but length. Length is the key here. So I have used an AccuMade ruler. When AccuMade first came out, I thought this was it right here. It was the easiest way to go. It's a 40, it's a 48 inch ruler that has a swivel pad and a place to measure score lines or uh, position yourself on score lines in order to measure stuff. And we're replacing it today. All right, so we went into it and Mondaire has helped me out yet again. And he sent me an auditor, and another auditor model. Again, we talked about that. That is the line for the golf mechanics. And I do, again, think it's proper, uh, appropriate that they call it auditor because we're auditing the golf club. I think that's a good thing, all right? And, and this is basically the same thing, all right? It's the same thing. A little more updated in the look. It's a little cleaner, I think. It, you know, it still says the numbers. It still does the same things that the other one did. You mount the club in the playing position and then you use the, the slide bar to marry up or at least be parallel with the score lines. Typically, if, you're, if it's a good manufacturer and you haven't done too much, that if you get the, this blade that sits up in there and it gets uh, parallel with the, with the score lines, you're in the playing position. And then it's nothing more than coming back and marking your length that you need to do. Now this thing is made to be used on the left and right handed side. Uh, however, what I've done in the past is you just, you know, for, for lefties, you just reach over top of it instead of spinning the whole thing around because mostly you get used to working one way, right? Yeah, I could put, I could spin the thing around and, and measure it left handed, but now you're using the, uh, your non-dominant hand. So I just leave it in one space to the point what I've done is, and because my bench is got Formica on it, it makes it slickery. So I've put a small pad on underneath of it that I've used for years to help prevent that from happening. So you can you can measure the length of you can measure the length of a regular club that's already done. 
you can measure a, a naked club. You can measure the length of a regular shaft if you wanted to. Now it does give you some, it gives you these serrated edges that are half inch uh, apart, which I do take advantage of when you can slide the, the markers up and down. So if you're a half inch short or half inch up, it's very much, it's an excellent, excellent reminder, right? On where you need to be when you're building clubs. Be, and, and it also helps you if you need to tip trim, you know, where you can tip trim at. Now, I, I, what I do is I just flip the thing over again. I just flip it over and I just use primarily one side. However, if we were to take full advantage of the auditor or even the Accumade, that you would, there is another set of serrated numbers that you could put down at the other end for tip trimming and just mark them off the same way. And you never know, maybe I'll take that on as that new old dog getting a new trick again. So first, first impressions, right? First impressions. I've measured two sets of clubs and it works just like the other one. The other one felt wider and shorter where this one feels a little bit more narrower and taller. And it could be just the fact that it, the way the paint looks and stuff, but honestly, it doesn't impact the way that I measure at all. The, the, the thing that I really like, and it seems kind of odd is that the, the flexible pan that or the flexible base where you where you mount the club uh it has a knob on it that's not knurled it's got notches in it all the way around and it, it's more tactile feel i just tend to like that the knobs on here are more tactile a, as the other one was and i believe the the backing that allowed it to slide is a little bit more robust than than the original one basically learning from their learning from their predecessor now I will say the one thing I just I didn't feel that I really liked as much was the slider bar that you use to measure the that you use to measure the score lines with. It in the original one it was thicker, right? It was a thicker model and it it less likely I guess for cutting <laughs> or even marking a club. It just because it was thicker you didn't come to nearly as a point when you when you married up to it. Now I could sand it down. I'm pretty, and that's pretty much what's probably going to happen. And I'm going to do a little bit of make modifying on my own, but outside of that, it, it, it sits right where I want it to set. It, it appears to be very heavy duty in its manufacture. It looks to be very, very accurate. I've measured a few things just to see, make sure I'm not screwed up anywhere. And I like the, the gray and the red stands out a little bit better than just the white and the silver. So, and it measures the, it matches up to the new auditor that I got a couple weeks ago for, uh, for the frequency machine. So the, the, the look of the look of the place is changing. <laughs> so again, if you need to, there are, again, like anything else, there are other ways to do this. However, the most repeat, what I have found in the last 20 years, this is the most repeatable way of doing that. And I would recommend this piece highly. All right. Again, go to Golf Mechanics, check them out, see what you think, tell them I sent you, and let's see your scores go low.